First of all, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. Welcome. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, welcome to the United States, man. Thank welcome you. to Thank Green so Bay, a metropolis. Yeah, it's a beautiful stadium, beautiful it club. No, it's awesome. It's I great. mentioned in my press conference your name is also beautiful. <laughs> when, I, when I just uh, call your name, it sounds like a big career. Okay. And compared to mine, Julian Nagelsmann's not, not that big career, the name. No. <laughs> you, you've, won the a, you've won a championship. Yeah, but I think it's easier in Germany than uh, to win a championship in the NFL. I don't know about that. Yeah, so. I think so. Well, I don't perhaps, know. perhaps next season. Well, that's the goal, right? And, and uh, as Bayern Munich coach, you have to win every title. And sure. If you only win one title, you can normally win three. And if you only win one, everybody gets kind of nervous, you know. Well, that, my, my phone in the summer period and the break will ring a, a bit more often. Sure. Well, I just, I just go leave the country and leave my phone at home yeah, so that, nobody can get a hold of it. That would be great, but it's not that easy because you have transfer period, <laughs> as you also have in, in the U.S. And then, uh, yeah. You have to be in the phone all the time to get new players, to get no, better that players. That is true. Yeah. So we're, we're built a little bit different. We have a personnel department that they, they get to go, uh, they get to be busy and pick the players while you get to but go on vacation. But you meet the players as well when you get oh, new players. Oh, absolutely. But after signing a contract or before? Well, some, some before, some after. It but just you have, depends. Uh, it totally you have depends. a lot of players in, in soccer, I always meet them before because it's so important when, to, totally. to get to know the player, the character. Because we only have 24, 25 sure. guys, and they have to fit together, you know, characters, personalities. I totally agree. You have, yeah. How many players do you have? In the off 50. season, well, we have 53 in the regular season, plus 19 on the practice squads. Yes. And typically, we'll have a couple guys get hurt, and they yeah. they stick around, and we put them on injured reserve. So uh, you can get upwards of, you know, 75, 80 players yeah. by the end of the season. But no, to your point, like. Character is everything in yeah. terms of molding the team, bringing everybody together. But it's not only just our players; it, it is it's it's our coaches, it's our trainers, it's our personnel department. Yeah. I the mean, whole stuff. Yeah, yeah every, every how intertwined everybody is. But how often do you meet each player face to face during the season? Because you have a lot of players. How many uh, just face to face talks you have with with each player? Uh, it gets that's that's where the challenge comes really? in. How about you, how about you? Yeah, normally every player wants to talk to me every week. Yeah. But uh, it's not that easy when you have three games a week. It's not that easy sure. to find time. But it's easy for me because I only have 25 guys and not you, 60. You, <laughs> just one on ones. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, no doubt. I agree. Where a lot of my connection points come with our team is whether they're stretching before practice, yeah. going just going through the stretch lines and just one minute talking. Uh, it, like it's that. quick. Yeah. yeah, it's very quick. So. Um, no, that is that is one of the challenges because we all know that that how that connection can yeah. can change some things. Yeah. Mm. But the soccer is important. You always have the whole squad. We try to do some special things for for each player as well. But uh, normally you have the whole squad because we do not have uh, the possibility to change uh, offense and defense like you. So every scene is important for every player. Well, it's, it's always more a mix. More, always a mix, and it's tr all about transition. Sure. When you lose the ball, when you win the ball, and so it's uh, most times it's important. That uh, every player has the pos possibility to see each scene. Yeah, that's why well, I ask because uh, normally you change offense, defense, and uh, are there scenes uh, which are important for for every player? Or normally yeah. you have scenes that's only for the offense, and scenes only for the defense. That's why I ask if you have meetings with the whole squad, with the whole team. Sure, especially. But as the head coach, you have to have ownership a little bit of of everything. Yeah, of every yeah. every area and. Although my expertise is more on the offense, yeah. you better know what's going on on defense and on special teams. And you know, both my both my sons play soccer okay. or football. Yeah, I was you wanting, can call it soccer. No, we can call it football. <laughs> no problem. But uh, and it, it definitely, to your point, it, it just appears to be. And I don't know. I'm by far an expert, but it's definitely more free flowing. It reminds me more of like basketball. Yeah. And yeah. Um, in terms of you better be able to do it all. Uh, but I have a question about the playbook, because I want to bring a playbook also in, into the team, but it's not that easy in soccer, you know? Sure. Because it's, as you mentioned, it's more free flow. So when, when I tell them they have to learn 100 pages, they say, uh, you're kidding me. And it's, <laughs> that could be not your truth. And uh, uh, how do you deal with that? Uh, how long does it take that everybody know the playbook? Do you, do it, you only give them the, the pages and say, Go home, learn it, or do you discuss with the players? All the oh time? no, we, we we install it, we teach it from you know just we install it uh, typically as a group, 
yeah. then we'll break off and get more detailed within with a special you know, yeah place. With, within your specific position group okay. but how many pages is it at uh, the moment it's it just it totally <laughs> depends it's it's pretty thick yeah so we've got offensively we've got about eight different installs which you could say you could play a game just from one install mm -hmm. defensively we got six and then special teams have have their own installs because there's you know basically four different phases of special teams so um but not everybody has to know every detail yeah, within that awesome. within that the guys that have the most learning are, are typically your quarterbacks yeah. it's a collective effort i mean it's not only just mine it's it's all our coaches and then when you have a quarterback like like a guy like Aaron Rodgers, yeah. you want to include him in, in that Ed process Rogers. as well. And he is, I mean, he's one of the, one of the best in the yeah. world at what yeah. he does. And um, so anytime you got a guy like that, of that caliber of his expertise, I'd be foolish not to involve him in that process. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I've always, what, what's, what's the most important position in your sport? For me, it's number six. It depends on your philosophy. It's not. I think it's not. That there's a, you will not get the same answer of every coach. But for me, it's position number six, nearly like a quarterback, you know, mm -hmm. in, in American football, because he's get linked defense, offense, uh, have a lot of decisions during a game, in offense and also in defense part. Uh, try to close some spaces for the opponents. Try to speed up the game. Always try to find a good position offense if you lose the ball in transition that you can do counter pressing so it's a really really important uh, position also goalkeeper is also important but uh, yeah if you if you're a manager or coach you want to see offensive football then the answer will be number six okay <laughs> and if you're a, a manager who's more focused on the defense the answer could be goalkeeper but both positions are you also need a striker who can score goals you sure. need a receiver who can catch the ball you nope. need every player, but uh, I think the most important topic or most important player is position number six because it's like quarterback in, in American football, nearly the same. Yeah. For build-up game, for transition, always be the link player, you know. Right. It's a bit I different because we do not have defense, offense, and uh, you change uh, the whole team in uh, the next situation, but uh, transition is one of the most important topics, and the link player is always number six, or so the defense midfield. Right. Well, our, our uh, special teams coordinator... Yeah. Special teams is, is not defense, it's not offense. He always calls it we fence. <laughs> we fence. Yeah. So I don't know if that you can take something back or, <laughs> or, or not, but because it's everybody. Yeah. It's, you got offensive players on special teams, you got defensive players on it's special good. teams. We fence is good. And then you, you do have a few specialists like our kicker and our yeah. snapper and our holder and uh, maybe a returner, but it's. But the kickers, are they from, uh, do they play soccer in college or not? I kickers. would say, yeah, our, our kicker, Mason Crosby, he was down there watching, watching yeah. practice. Uh, he grew up playing soccer. Yeah. So Is he good? still good in, in playing soccer? I would, I would imagine he can kick a ball. <laughs> yeah, he's... Perhaps we can bring him in tomorrow for five minutes. <laughs> Let, let's, let's try. For some long balls <laughs> behind the defense side of the city. <laughs> I like the position, but sometimes they decide games, and that's, uh, I think that's cool. Yeah. So we, we play over in London, and I've been over there twice before. Yeah. It's amazing how... Uh, excited the fans get when we're in a situation where we're kicking the kicking the football. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, they they get all riled up at when more than when the receiver catches oh, a yeah, for sure. brilliant pass. For sure, <laughs> yeah, they addicted to soccer. There's no doubt. Yeah. There's no doubt. And I I don't want to be disrespectful calling it soccer. That's just no, how right, us Americans right. kind of yeah, you know grow up learning the game. It's, you can call it soccer. It's, it's soccer. But no it, we should call it American football and your football. No, You're the real football. You can do soccer and uh, I call it American <laughs> It does football. make more sense to call it football, right? Since you're always kicking the ball. Yeah, that's true. I think everything starts with just, you know, knowing who you are and, and being genuine. I think, you know, our guys can kind of see bullshit if you, if you try to feed it to them. So... It, it all starts with your integrity, your honesty, how hard you work, and then trying to surround yourself with as many good people as yeah, possible. That's and true. that's the coaching staff, obviously, the players. I mean, show me a good coach and I'll show you a, a bunch of great players. So um, I think that's that's where it starts for me. Yeah, I think the most important topic is to, to work harder than the others. It's, it's really important. And then try always to get a good relationship to your players. Uh, when your career starts, it's always important to have a good relationship because you have to re rely on your players and uh, 
you could be the best coach on the sideline. If you do not have a good relationship to your players, you will never be successful. And then, as you mentioned, you, you need uh, guys beside you who are also brilliant and doing their jobs. And then you need um, a sporting director in, in soccer who give you the chance to get a good job. And uh, sure. yeah, probably you're the best man for this position. And then you try to do your best. I got a question for you real quick. Are you younger than some of your players? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> It's getting like less that. because uh, I'm getting older, but no, uh, on, still Manu Neuer, our captain, is a bit older than me. Levy was not older, but nearly, uh, nearly the same age. And uh, yeah. So uh, how do you capture those guys? That's no problem. It's all about the relationship. Sure. It's, it's all about uh, your philosophy. If they recognize they could win titles with you together, then they will listen to your words. It's all about mm -hmm. that. It's not yeah. when, it, when I talk to a younger player, perhaps you can talk a bit in a different way, like you talk to Manu and he's older than me, but uh, at the end, they just want to have the feeling they could learn something, they could win titles together with me, and if this is possible for them, and uh, they they see the chance to win more titles, then it's no problem. At the uh, at the beginning, I, I remember when I started in, in Hoffenheim as a smaller Bundesliga club, I was 28, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the first 150 questions on the press conference were exactly this question. Sure. How do you deal with the older players? <laughs> and uh, uh, my answer 100 I don't know what I said I don't have to deal with them uh, they just listen <laughs> well it's yeah. about the relationship yeah, it doesn't we, matter if a young guy or starts. an older guy it's all about relationship and they want to feel that they could improve they can win titles and then it's okay it's easy they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care especially <laughs> about them so yeah, that's true <laughs> For me, it's so important because it's not that easy to talk to other coaches in soccer. Because uh, normally, yeah, when you are in, in duels and in, in big competitions, you are not that open-minded when you talk to other coaches <laughs> in, in the same sport. So at the end, it's it's good to talk to coaches in, in, from different sports. You can learn. Also, it's most of the time the the things they they do in normal training sessions and. Uh, as I mentioned, the education of the players is a bit different. And if you talk to coaches that uh, they are in jobs of the same same sports, you will not learn that much normally. And if you talk to coaches in other sports, you could learn a bit more. Today I learned we fans. Uh, it's brilliant <laughs> for me. So uh, tomorrow, <laughs> when we have a meeting with the team, I will say, no, today it's we fans. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with this meeting at all. <laughs> no, that's good. No, it, it is, you, to your point, you know, we all have connections within our spe you know, specific sports, and uh, a lot of guys can be guarded, but it is important to have people that you know in, in similar positions to kind of pick their brains. Uh, I've, I've got a younger brother that coaches for the New York Jets, and uh, typically we, we spend a lot of time, although we do play each other this year, so it'll be a little bit different. But um, I, had, I had the luxury to go on a road trip with the Milwaukee Bucks this year. And, okay. Uh, Mike Budenholzer and, and and his staff and get to know those guys and just see how they operate and see how they are able to connect the guys and how they just go about their their uh, their daily life in in the, in the NBA and that was such a valuable experience and oh, the one thing that you always it always comes back to me is is the people do you have the right people around you supporting you and uh, supporting each other and um, you, you just you can never lose sight of that yeah. I, have one, I have one last question how big is your coaching staff how many people we've got we've got uh, 23 coaches and then another four strength coaches so Okay. We're at 27. It's so it's it's, big. it's pretty large. Yeah. This is it's as large as your football team. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I only we only have five coaches. When you only talk about the coaches, mm -hmm. there's a bigger stuff around it, but only five coaches. Yeah. And only three really care about soccer. Sure. Okay. So it's a bit a big difference in soccer to American football or football to American football. Do yeah, do they specialize in specific areas? Is like one guy in yeah, offense. Normally we we try to do it in training session, but it's it's not uh, like that. That before a season we say you only offense, you only sure. defense. But if we do a different things in training session, we say you do now focus on the defense, you focus on the offense, and then we try to do it like that. But normally everybody do everything because we only three guys who focus sure. on soccer. No, that's that's cool, man. I try to do it a bit. Normally you need more you need more uh, coaching stuff because it's. 
the focus in the future will be more on the individual player, uh, try to solve situations for him, more video scenes for each player, not only the whole group. Because, as I mentioned, the relationship is the most important topic. To talk to each player every week is so important, so you need more, more men in your coaching stuff. Well, Perhaps not 26, but a bit <laughs> more than four. <laughs> sure. Well, we got plenty for you, so you could come take some of yeah. Thank best you so much. Luck, man. All the best for the season. Yeah, you Just too. win the Super Bowl, okay? <laughs>